Yo guys, what's up? I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to carry games with the cook in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Sharing with you my favorite perks and some tips and tricks so you can get the maximum value out of the cook. Alright, starting out with the ability tree, I go to the right quicker recharge rate, to the middle increase detection range and then to the right again for all family scene noise. It highlights and reveals the victims that you mark for the whole family. So this is basically Warlock and it's very very useful. And with cook you're a support character so you want to keep marking the victims so your teammates can get the kills. Alright, the perks I'm using are as follows. Universal donor, so you can get the maximum blood collection from the buckets and keep feeding grandpa very very fast to level 5. Next up, one of the best family perks, serrated. Serrated on level 3 makes the victims take 1 HP per second of extra damage for the next 5 seconds. So it's basically a bleed effect that will apply with every hit and it's really really strong. So when you do get the chance to smack the victims a couple of times, they will take extra damage. And the last perk of course is going to be scout. With scout your movement speed is increased by 15% while your damage is reduced by 10%. And with cook it's all about speed because he's the slowest character in the game, he profits a lot from the movement movement speed to collect blood more efficiently and more quickly and also to be able to keep up with the victims if he decides to chase them. It's just overall the best family perk. And for grandpa abilities, I will go for nobody escape hell or exterior alarms. These are the two best family grandpa perks in the game. You can also exchange universal donor with unrelenting if you don't want to be collecting blood so much and you want to chase the victims more. And now I got two loadouts here with the attributes. One loadout consists of maximum blood harvesting and the rest in endurance, which gives me the ability to collect the maximum amount of blood for grandpa and get grandpa up to level five as fast as possible. My second loadout is a little bit different. So I like to put 50 in seven savagery and there is an endurance if I want to go for more of a chase game. So if you already got another teammate with a blood build like Sissy for example then I will change universal donor perk to like unrelenting and go for more of a chase oriented build. And since I got serrated and scout that's easily possible so I don't have any problems with chasing the victims. The skill tree looks like this so I just like to go to the middle to get exterior alarms as well as unrelenting and then we go upwards to get scout and serrated and then to the right side to get nobody escapes hell and universal donor at the top of the skill tree on the right side. Be aware that serrated is a random perk for the cook so you have to get lucky on your random perk slots and if you don't want to miss any more guides, news and updates on the Texas Chain of Africa, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Also let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite builds for the cook. All right and now let's get into the gameplay. I see you guys in the next one and I hope you enjoy. All right, you guys, let's go. Got a gas station map with the cook. Can't nobody do a job right but me around here. Okay, first thing, you got to spawn in this uh, smoke room over here. You're going to lock the smoke door. Get some blood on the way. That's what I always do. All right, they added this door recently. So, I don't know if I, I'll put a padlock on here or that door. I'll, I will just put it on the on the exit door. I don't know what's the best strategy there. I have to figure it out yet. I think it doesn't make any uh, difference which door you you choose. All right, I'm definitely going to put one on here. So what I like to do, I I like to um, secure this whole side of the generator with my locks. But you could also potentially um, put locks on the battery side if you want to. If you help out on that side. For me personally, I just like to, to uh, shut down this whole area. So I don't really have to worry about it that much. <clears throat> of course, you gotta check the locks continuously. But it's like not that big of a deal if I leave it um, unprotected for a couple of seconds. So, worst case scenario, they just break the lock. And not the actual door. I can't hear anyone. Right. We got someone over there in the basement. Ah, I can't quite get them. Can't quite get them. Let's get the blood. Oh, look at that. I took like three or four buckets and I'm already full. Maxing out that 140 blood. Baby. With my maximum blood harvesting attributes and the, the blood bucket perk, a universal donor. <clears throat> I'm gonna get Grandpa to max level super fast. They didn't even wake him up yet. 
Right. Um, looks like Connie opened the door already. Wait. That's it, checker. <laughs> I thought it was a victim. It's too far and you can also cancel the blood animation with your ability. Come on, let me get the tag. What? What's going on? Let me mark him. <laughs> Just give me a mark. Okay, checking the locks with uh, family sense. He's patrolling that door, that gate. Okay, perfect. Where's the fuse box, by the way? Oh, it's right here, okay. It's trapped as well. <coughs> oh, we got one over here. Con is down in the basement. Alright, alright. Checking the locks again. Still there. Checking the gates. I gotta do a lot of work now because um, Letterface is not here yet. Right. <laughs> Julia. Julia on me. It's my car. Give her some smacks and the mark again. Marker for my teammates. Okay, she's going down the ladder, that's fine. Locks are fine. And Max, uh, I'm full on blood. She gave me some blood from that hit. Perfect. Get him to level 3 maybe. Nah, not quite, not quite. But level 2 it is. Also remember to use the ability quite often. The locks are still fine. The gates are looking good as well. So basically constantly checking the locks, um, collecting blood and listening for victims. With the cook you're like support character. Um, and that's what how you want to play. That's how you want to play the most efficient with him. Ah, oh, we got one upstairs over there. Can, oh, there we go. Connie's upstairs. Gonna try. Oh, she's going down. Okay. Yeah. Can I mark her for him? So he can kill her. Yeah. Keep gonna keep marking her, so he can get the kill hopefully. Oh yeah, he got got a hit and maybe the kill. Wait, this one. You better not be messing with Grandpa. <laughs> oh, you you think I you're invisible, right? Let's give him some smacks. Right into the trap as well. Can we mark him? Wait, there's another one down there. Okay, I gotta protect fuse box. Don't want him to do the fuse box. For free. Yeah, he 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 wants to do it. Oh, got him. Let's go. He was pretty low low health from that from that hitchhiker trap probably. That probably really hurt him. Perfect. Alright, uh, how are the locks? Can't check the locks right now. The locks are all, all perfectly fine. I'm full on blood as well. So we got one, one victim in the basement. How's that uh, gate? It's locked, okay. Okay, we got two victims left. 
Uh, Julie's in basement and Sonny's unknown. Let's try to find him. Alright, get him to level 5 now. Look how fast I, I, I get the blood to him. Look at this. I give him 140 blood every time. Okay, Julie's in basement and she's right here. He's dead, okay. And she's also in the basement down there. So now that Grandpa's level 5, I will just um, protect Grandpa. So he doesn't get stabbed. So that's what you want to do once he's level 5 with the cook. You really want to protect Grandpa's level 5, so you can keep revealing the victims. And also, of course, check the locks and or guard some exits like the fuse box, if you have to. But right now, it's only one victim, so you don't really have to, don't really have to do anything here. Yeah, she wanted to try to stab him, probably, but that's not gonna happen. Because I got you, Grandpa. I'm not leaving you. I'm not, I'm not leaving you to die. Alright, GG's. Got a juicy 3,800 points as well. Alright, let's go. I've never played Cook on this map, so let's see where I spawn. Alright, so he spawns in the kitchen. So where I'm gonna put my locks? Of course, one, one lock will go here on this door. And... I think I'm going to put a lock as well on the exit door, on the exit gate right here. If they try to rush that, so that it's it's going to be protected a little bit better. Alright. So the only way to get here is through the house and through the generator. Um, through this ramp over there, through the street. Uh, my second lock will be going on this door. And then for the third lock, I maybe just um, hold on to it. I could lock this door here, but they will just go through this door instead. Mm, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put that. Maybe on the battery side. Because on those metal doors, of course, you cannot put locks. Okay. Let's get some marking for them. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> okay. That's a massacre. <laughs> Easy kill, easy kill right there. Right. Pony was here as well. Where is she at? Uh, I don't see her. I don't hear her. Okay, whatever. Let's get our ass back upstairs. After we got this juicy kill. Perfect. Do they have the Danny? Yeah. Gotta be careful with that. Alright, let's... Check the generator real quick. One second. Alright, that's fine. Oh, there's one. I'm just concerned about the house doors. Tastes good, don't it? So as long as those metal doors are still locked, they can't be upstairs. And as well as this fence over there. That's the only way they can get into the house. Oh, we got a second kill. Perfect. Johnny's doing work. Can I hear someone? No, there's one upstairs. 
Honey set the generator. Just gonna mark her again. So we got Connie and Anna. Let's check the doors. Alright. She probably took the well. I'm assuming that. That's the generator. Yeah. She's in the basement again. Alright. Let's keep on feeding Grandpa. Oh, he disconnected. He bled out, okay. That's gonna be a quick game. <laughs> That's gonna be a really fast game. I'm not even gonna put my third lock now, because this is gonna be an easy win. Do we have blood buckets in here? Uh, okay. Doesn't seem to be a bucket in here. Oh, this one. I'm, I'm still learning the this map, of course. Let's find some more blood here. No blood in here. Get some more blood. <clears throat> oh, there's one. She's taking it well again. Let's hunt her down. Okay, let's get some points marking her. Alright, she's not moving. Okay, there we go. Get some more points. Okay, okay, okay. She jumped the ladder. She didn't go upstairs, right? Yeah. Oh, he got the kill, right? Yeah. GG's, GG's. That was a fast game. Didn't expect it to be that fast. 